Hey guys, welcome back to Breezy Woods Homestead. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be fencing off a section of our backyard. Uh, so like I've said in a previous video, we um, have two and a half acres here and a acre and a quarter is right behind me and that's where the bucks kind of have their area to, to graze and free range and stuff like that. And now our female goats are right on the other side, which is, as you can see, you know, my house is back there and they just kind of have full access to our entire yard. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fencing off a back section of, of our yard back here, right behind our house. So that way the goats, the female goats can't get up to the front yard because we, uh, we've had a little bit of an issue with them eating our bushes in the front and I don't want them to eat them because I don't know, they look nice. They're nice bushes. But real quick, I'm just going to show you the damage they have done. So these are our pretty little bushes in front of our house. And as we move towards the bottom, first of all, ain't that a nice looking flower? Nice. Well, anyways, as you get towards the bottom here, yeah. So you can see all right here, the girl goats have been coming up to the front yard and eating them. They get pretty high too, look. They've eaten all the way up here, which is close to the top. So again, this is gonna be the whole reason why we are gonna fence off a section of the backyard so that they can't get up here anymore and destroy our, our bushes. <laughs> I know we're gonna just fence off this whole back section coming all the way up to this wooden post right there where Winston, our breeder, bucks at. Before we start putting up any kind of fence, I need to take this gate down. We're gonna take this gate down and we're just gonna fence off this, the section where it was, you know, at. We're gonna just fence that off. Hey guys, so it's been a couple weeks now since the, I left off that last little video where I was kind of explaining where we're gonna be fencing off and about taking down the gate and everything. Um, reason why is because I've been searching um, on Facebook Marketplace again and looking for fencing and stuff like that. and. That big old roll behind me, free, completely free, was given to us. And then also my cousin Jordan, shout out to him. He kind of hooked us up with all this fencing and a few posts. And I actually got to go pick up the rest um, next weekend. Uh, the payment he wanted for all this stuff, I guess it's not technically free, is to help him build a shed in his backyard. So I'm gonna be helping him do that next weekend. Um, but today, we got all the equipment we need, all the supplies, so we're finally gonna get to build, building this fence. And like I explained a little bit before in that last clip, um, we are gonna be taking that gate down first. I'll walk over there. We are gonna be taking that down, closing that off. Uh, we are gonna leave a little walkthrough gate so that we can still get out there. But as far as having the big, that big gate there, we're not gonna have that anymore. I'm gonna take that down and save it for for our next project, whenever we might need it. But we're gonna start by doing that. We're probably gonna have to lock the goats up for a little bit, and then we're gonna take that down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Alright, so now that they're up, we can get this done. I tell you that thing was pretty tough to get off but we finally got it off and right here where the gate was well it's really bright but i'm just gonna leave those gate hooks there so that way i could put a gate right here right there on this post um i'll probably have to drill new holes for for those and everything but i'm gonna leave them there for now and probably just put another post right here probably it's gonna be about a four foot gate so i'll put i'll put it a little over four foot over from this one put a post 
and then just put fencing from that one to the post there. So that's gonna be the next step. And then we're gonna start fencing off all this behind the shed. So let's go ahead and get that started. How are you liking your new freedom? So now we just got to get to the next part and I'm, I'm telling you guys it's hot out here today Maybe it's just because I'm working but um, So yeah, we got that part done We're gonna go ahead and get our guidelines set kind of figure out exactly where we're gonna put this other fence um, Fence line uh, real quick. I just want to say that I am no expert at building fences. I've only done just a couple hundred feet of fencing ever. So this is gonna be my next couple hundred feet that I'm making here. But again, I'm no expert. So if you guys have any kind of suggestions or advice, go down into the comments and let me know. posts up and so I put a wooden post here because I'm gonna put a gate here so that we have access to to get out here and stuff like that and so the only thing I have to do now before this side is ready to have fencing put on is at the other end here I'm gonna put a 
um, another wooden post over here, just right along this fence, um, and then nail it to the post, nail the fence to the post, and then that way I just have a more sturdy kind of anchor to be able to stretch the fence that way. So, T-posts all look pretty straight. We got our fencing cut to where we need it. And I left a little extra spacing there because we're gonna need to stretch this. Um, whenever I patched that area earlier that we took the where we took the gate down i didn't really stretch it you know the proper way i just kind of pulled it as tight as i could but um i don't have any kind of actual proper tools to stretch this with so i'm just going to kind of show you the way that i've been um stretching all the fencing that i've done on the property since we've moved here and uh it's you know it works it gets the job done well i couldn't find everything i actually needed i seem to have lost my um one of my straps that are you know like kind of like this here but i'm gonna try to do it with this just this metal pipe here and then this um pulley uh and see if this is gonna work I just weaved it in and out of the spacings. And that'll just, I mean, it's gonna probably get bent up a lot on the end, but that's why I left a little bit of extra slack. That way, whatever's messed up, I can just cut off and just nail it up to the post here. And again, this little spacing here is gonna be a gate. There's gonna be a gate here. That way we can get out to where all the animals are and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do is in about this at about the center point of the pipe i'm gonna hook this pulley here i'm gonna hook one of the hooks there to the middle and then probably wrap it around this other post right here and just see how it works as far as getting that stretched as tight as we can along this fence line should work out but let's see let's give it a go So as you can see, it is getting dark, so we're gonna have to call it a day. I didn't get as much done today as I planned, but you can see that we did at least get the fencing put up on half on half of it, half of the half of what we're fencing. We got half of it put up. Um, the only thing I'm gonna have to do now is um, the mo mo the rest of the property is four foot fencing. Like I said earlier, this is five foot fencing. That's why it sticks above the T post here. So I'm just gonna go through one of these days um this week and cut the excess off the top and that way it'll be four foot like the rest of the property and um i still got the pulley there attached but i'm gonna put that loose i'm gonna put a gate here eventually and that's gonna be half of it done it ends there at the shed and then the only thing that i'm gonna have to do probably next weekend i'll probably make a like a part two of this video but is gonna be from this corner all of the shed, the corner of the shed there all the way to that fence line. That way they have the whole back area to kind of free roam and do whatever they wanna do. And they'll have the barn there as their shelter. All right guys, so like I said, we didn't get as much done today as we wanted to, but we still got one step closer to making our dream homestead become a reality. And that's all that matters. So um, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, just 
you know, subscribe. That way you can follow us on this journey of learning how to homestead. And just, you know, we're taking it one day at a time. And little by little, it is coming together. So again, appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoy your night and we'll see you next time.